Hey guys, welcome back to Blind Strike Exotics. Today I want to talk about our thermostats. I'm sure the majority of you guys have the Vivarium Electronics thermostats. I'm sure some of you have the, uh, I have a Spider Robotics thermostat all the way back there. Um, but, and basically how they can fail. Um, yesterday I had an electrician come in and I had them put in a, a dedicated circuit into my electric panel for the snake room so that I'm not tripping anything. I had an issue where the power went out a couple weeks ago and I'm assuming that my battery backup here that I use for the incubator combined with everything else on this circuit because I had it coming off of like lights in the basement. Um, it blew a fuse when the power came back on because of probably the high draw of electricity when everything came back on when that battery backup kicked in. So I had them come in and put in a dedicated circuit for the snake room. And when he was finished, I came back in here just to check to see if everything was working and functioning properly because he ran a whole new line to this to the snake room. Well, this thermostat on my newest rack uh, was not on. Everything That one was on, that one was on, that one was on. But this newest rack, the thermostat was off was not showing any power now it wasn't my newest thermostat it was one of the older ones um but it was definitely having an issue there there were no green lights on here um so i tried a different outlet which is behind the snake rack here the different outlet wasn't working i actually pulled the thermostat from the boa cage and put it on here and it did turn on it turned on with this one's plug it turned on with the other plug it turned on with all the outlets. So this thermostat uh, seemed like it wasn't working. I was assuming it maybe it blew a fuse. So this is the the dead one here. Um, you know, this is what it looks like when it doesn't have a light on. So I kind of turned it over and I'm looking at it, trying to figure out, well, how do I get to the fuse? And on this Vivarium Electronics ones, the fuse is actually right here next to where you plug in the plug. And it's super simple. You just get a flathead screwdriver. There's like a little ridge in here and you pop it up. It's literally that easy. And your fuse is right here. Uh, this is the one here that is uh, that was dead. So if I pop that out of there real quick, I can show you what a blown fuse looks like. And that is it right there. If you can see, it's black, completely toasted on both ends. So what I did was, I was like, crap, you know, <laughs> blown fuse, obviously it's not, not working. So what am I gonna do? Um, so I went back over to my one that was plugged into the BOA cage, which is actually now the one that I have here, which is uh, a newer one. Um, and I took the fuse out of that one I plugged it into this one, plugged it in the wall, and immediately I just heard, it just popped. It blew, I knew immediately that it blew the fuse out. Um, so I found out, well, this one's dead. And if you can hear this, there's something inside of there that's like broken and rattling around. I don't know what happened to this. I don't know why it happened as soon as you know, the electrician was turning off circuit breakers and putting on a new circuit. I don't know if it was coincidental or not. Um, I wasn't going to make a big deal about it because I have no idea whether or not it was his fault. Um, but there's a secret inside of these Vivarium Electronics uh, thermostats. When you pull these little things out with the fuses, there's actually a spare. I don't know if you can see that in there. But so the main fuse is up here in this little clip, but there's a spare in this little square cubby hole here. Um, luckily, I had the spares because I was able to get this thermostat up and running, the one that was good, um, even though I blew two fuses yesterday, and I was able to um, get that one up and running. So these do come with spare fuses. Now, on the back of these thermostats, on this little label here, it tells you uh, what size fuse you need. And these, this is the 200, and it needs the 6.3 amp, five millimeter by 20 millimeter. 
and the fuse for the 300X2 is 8 amp, same size, uh, 5 by 20. So, uh, what that means to you guys is do not go online looking for the fuses that are from Vivarium Electronics. They're not expensive. I think you get a maybe a two pack for two dollars if you can find them. The only place I found them was on Reptile Basics. But unless you're placing a big order, you have to pay ten dollars for shipping. I was able to buy a ten pack of these fuses on Amazon for relatively cheap. I think it was like ten dollars, and I'm sure everybody has Prime. So I was able to get ten fuses for ten dollars rather than two fuses for twelve dollars. So if you do need these fuses. I recommend looking up the size you need and just buying them from Amazon. I actually did that. I bought a pack of 10 for the 6.3 amp fuses and I bought a pack of 10 for the 8 amp fuses because at this point, I think that's a 300X2. These are 300X2. I have the 200 here. I have the 200 on the incubator and then I had to order a backup, another uh, 200 for this since I had to take that thermostat from there. So this one's gonna have a 200. So I have, what, three of each, three 300X2s and three 200s, and they both use different size uh, fuses. Now, unfortunately, this guy is toast. Um, I'm gonna have to throw that out. And when I went to go into Reptile Basics yesterday, and I went to go buy a replacement, they only had one in stock, assuming that I get it shipped to me. I went to go buy two and it said that's that exceeds the amount of thermostats that we have in stock. So my plan was to keep a backup here so I had it. Um, I'm gonna have to go source one somewhere else because Reptile Basics, from what I've seen, is the only place selling them at like retail price. If you try to get them somewhere else, they're usually extremely expensive, the thermostats. So, um, you know, lesson learned for me, luckily, I figured out that these fuses are not very expensive to replace, that the thermostats also come with a backup fuse kind of hidden in here. Um, on top of that, the fuse information is back here on this label on the back of your thermostats, and they are dirt cheap to replace if you buy them in bulk from Amazon. So, you know, it kind of goes back to the whole, you know, security insurance for your collection um you know i brought that topic up before and they nobody supplies business insurance for the animals so you can't insure you know the tens hundreds or millions of dollars you have invested in your snakes but you can make sure that everything in your house in your collection in your snake room is secured otherwise and Parts of doing that are making sure that you have thermostats, uh, backup fuses, maybe even backup thermostats. I now have this uh, $1,000 battery backup that I'm using to make sure that my incubator stays online for several hours if the power goes out. I have a backup gas generator that I am actually, I haven't actually had to use it yet. I'm also having the, um, electricians come back and install a transfer kit that's going to plug into my generator so that I can have 10 circuits from my electrical panel go to this transfer kit. That transfer kit is then gonna run to an outlet outside that I can plug my generator directly into. So in the case that I am without power for an extended period of time, I can turn the generator on, plug it into the, to the outlet outside, and then the 10 circuits that I have uh, you know, set up to it, I'll just flip it to generator power. And not only, um, you know, will my freezers and refrigerators in the house continue to work, this whole room will still run off electricity at that point, even though if it's gas powered. So that's another way that I'm, you know, investing in the snake room to make sure that everything is up and running all of the time. So, but those are some quick tips here for thermostats. Something that I just came across yesterday that I learned um, by trial and error and kind of got lucky with that I had two extra fuses because this thing blew two of them yesterday. Um, you know, unfortunately this thing's dead. I don't know if, I think this is one of my older ones. I don't, I've only been doing this for four or five years. So unfortunately, you know, 
this going bad in four to five years kind of stinks. Um, but I guess, you know, you pay a hundred bucks for one of these two hundreds and it lasts you five years. You pay $20 a year to rent it, I guess, isn't a bad, a bad thing. So that's it for today. Thank you guys for stopping by and we'll see you next time.